What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Paddle and Fin Podcast here live from ICAST 2023. Woo woo, woo woo. Sitting over here in the Dubro Fishing booth. First, big thanks to them for giving us a little bit of space to come at y'all live and do some cool product release and hang out and hopefully not get kicked out of this place too early. <laughs> I don't think we'll have that problem. Nah, we're doing pretty good, man. We, we got the rowdy out of us last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, I'm your host, Jimmy Skinner. If you're tuning in for the first time, this is the OG himself, Brian Schiller, the man, the myth, not really a legend yet, but he's working on it. Okay. And, uh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. So yeah. So first thing first, I know it's early, but go ahead, click that like, click that share, show everybody, uh, what Paddle and Finn's doing down here at ICAST. Um, uh, we're starting the morning off fresh. Another, well, yesterday we came in during setup day. We had a bait, a uh, product release. We left the twist, the twister knobs. Wait for it. Yep. 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 Wait for uh, it. I was like, oh, the I... twister knobs. Yeah. Got those. Oh, look at G's got it. Bam. Yep. yep. Five colors. It's the next greatest thing for gear track management on your kayak, man. Go back and check that video out. They're live on the site. Uh, four pack for $10. There they are. Four pack for $10. PNF 20 gets you 20% off of that. Go order them up before they sell out. They're going quick. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that was exciting. The release yesterday, uh, Dubro Fishing dipping their toes into the kayak market. They work in the boat market as well. Uh, stainless steel insert, color options, things like that. So it's exciting, man. It's a, you know, we talked about it yesterday. Somebody commented, even the smallest thing is the biggest mod on your kayak. And what a difference that makes and the time it saves you getting on and off the water. Absolutely. Really cool product. Go back and check it out. And you're going to be seeing a lot of footage from it. And uh, you'll be seeing them a lot on uh, everybody's favorite kayaks. But today, uh, day one of like full scale ICAST, the doors are open. Just had the national anthem. It's awesome. Starting to load up in here. We're surrounded by a bunch of cool companies. We're in a really cool spot right close to bathrooms and beer. So I'm okay yep. with that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Dubro Fishing's coming at us with another product release. And this is a uh, little bit different for them. Yeah, I mean, we uh, we had a, a series of plastics. It was very limited. One of the things that I noticed first coming into working for Dubro Fishing was that product lineup wasn't that spectacular. It was very limited, things like that. Uh, started having conversations. Uh, definitely wanted to dip our toes in the bass world uh, a little bit deeper. Um, I mean, we obviously make some stuff for bass fishing. Uh, we're well known in the saltwater world, but... Um, you know, we're all bass fishermen there at the office. Um, all our products are made by fishermen and, you know, for fishermen, right? So one of the things we talked about was, uh, our, our line of soft plastics, which we're shooting in house. So it's all made in the USA, um, went through a, a phase of designing our own plastisol. So it's a custom plastisol. Nobody else out there has it. That's cool. Um, so yeah, it's super unique. And we're calling this first series the Average Joe series. It's for the average angler all the way up to the advanced, you know, elite angler, right? Um, but affordable price, most common patterns out there. It's uh, nothing spectacular. We definitely have more series in the works, and we're definitely going to add more patterns to the Average Joe series. Um, but, you know, uh, we started with 14 different colors, which... All the colors were my concepts, my ideas, went through, um, you know, toyed with a bunch of colors, flakes, suppliers for the colorant, suppliers for the flake, things like that. And we're shooting them all in-house, which has been super unique and cool to me, right? Like, you know, back in the day, I used to be a fly fisherman, so I used to tie my own flies and then go out and catch a fish with that. Now, lately, in the R&D phases of this, I've been actually shooting and making the baits and then going out and catching fish myself. Yeah. I asked you yesterday if y'all had had employees shooting the baits, like I obviously you shooting prototypes and stuff like that, but this man has a box in his truck right now. <laughs> this I never found the bottom of. And he said something last night and I was like, wait, you shot every one of those. And oh, he was yeah. like, Oh yeah, I'm the guy right now. Yeah. So he's, he's doing the whole thing. <laughs> so like all the baits on the wall, everything his is all him. But, uh, something with the, the name, you call it the average Joe series. And you, you said that it's not basics, the wrong word, but just kind of run of the mill. But the custom plastisol, what, what I take from this, and again, just like yesterday, I had no part in any of this. Um, I, this is my first time hanging around the Dubro guys and everything. But it's you get very common bait profiles. Yeah. 
the best colors, but you're getting like an elite style of plastisol. You're getting something completely different. A little bit of, you get that nice softness, but you get some really good durability. Yep. Like, uh, I can't wait to go over one and kind of really, ex like, feel it out and explain it in detail. This is this is the actual plastisol here that we're going to be using. Um, so that was the one concept that, you know, we talked about and we really wanted to hit home on was a durable plastic, right? You know, we've all fished, you know, multiple baits and you catch one fish, it tears up and it just goes right out the door, you know? And we wanted something that you could catch multiple fish on, something that was gonna last more than one fish and, you know, performed well, looked good in the water and and just something that overall, like, like we said, an average Joe could pick up on the shelf. It's not gonna break his pocket, but, at the end of the day, he could stock up on a bunch of different colors and patterns and be ready to roll and, you know, be budget friendly with it. So, yeah. And it like everybody saw that most people in the bass fishing industry are Kai Tech dudes. That's a common size. That's your three, seven, five. That's your, that's your money maker size, more sizes in the works, more styles in the works. And the, the plastic is like, I'm trying to give a good, like. There's nothing I, similar it's to not. it really. And, and it's really different. And that's what, you know, it was unique. We were going to go with a, a company that, you know, made a lot of common plastisols. And, you know, we said, wait a minute, let's be different, right? And, you know, we work with another outside source for another part of our, uh, another division of our business. And, you know, we approach them and they make a plastisol type material for something else that we do. And, you know, we said, hey, we're going to start this bait lineup. Could you make anything like this for us? And uh, they're like, yeah, absolutely. We used to do something for a certain individual back in the day. Let me send you some samples. We got the samples, shot a bunch of baits in them, you know, put them through the torture test, as we like to call them. And, you know, just kind of played with it all. And uh, we came up with the one that we liked. We had some input. Let's let's do a little bit more of this, a little more of that, a little less of this, a little less of that. And, uh, you know, that's what we've come up with now. And it's made it super unique and different. Um, that's a color that's not even released yet. So Randy's showing you something. Whoops. <laughs> I'll take I'll take the blame for that. I handed him that. I'm fired. The boss man's over there quivering now, you know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but But that was the thing, right? Like, we wanted the 14 most common colors. Like, I did a Google search on, you know, what's the 14 most popular colors and you know did some research that way and we kind of came up with this list of things and um you know some of them may just be flake variations like a green pumpkin black flake a green green pumpkin blue flake a green pumpkin red flake you know but as fishermen to me that's like the most common colors right those are the my go-to's and a lot of my friends and paddle oh, yeah. and fin guys and you know other people that i know in the fishing world so it's like we need to dial in on that um, come out with something unique it unique and different right and that was the big thing are we just trying to be like everybody else or are we trying to be somebody else and be different in this space so that's what we did with the new plastisol the color combos things like that so something that i really like about a lot of your color combinations that are right here is they have a very decent amount like a, i'd say a, an extreme amount of translucency and for a lot of bass fishing like I do in clear water and creeks and stuff like that, it gives it a more natural presentation to let light pass through. And a lot of baits, when they pour them, they go so solid, which is great in certain situations. I mean, you can't ever beat a black stick bait, you know? Yeah, right, right, right. But, like, a lot of this more natural-looking translucency, I just have a lot more luck on. And uh, not a lot. I mean, the companies have it, but, like, the bait that I just got fired over that I accidentally showed <laughs> off, um, that one's going to be absolutely nasty. Well, and, and that's just it, right? Um, you know, it's we tried to be natural with colors, but also slightly different, right? But right. there's only so many ways you can make green pumpkin. There's only so many ways you can make watermelon. But... You know, and two, to your translucency point, it depends which angle you look at this. Like, if you look at this craw from the side, it looks super, super dark, dark on the top. But if you hold it up in the light, it's super see-through. So that was something that when I was toying with colors and things and I was looking at these things as we we're getting them out of the molds and stuff and, and actually putting them up and looking at them, it was like, oh, well, that's different. That's unique. 
because you don't see that in a lot of baits, right? So, you know, and that involves the actual plastisol and the actual colorant we use, which is cool. Yeah. So uh, with what we have on the table right here, uh, give me a rundown of your bait names. All right. So uh, the, the three inch craw, which is actually three and a quarter inch, um, we're calling that the rock lobster. And then we actually have a Ned style pattern like that. That is uh, the little rock lobster. So uh, retail on uh, the rock lobster is going to be 525 for a package of eight. Uh, the little rock lobster is 450 for a package of eight. So again, super budget friendly. Um, we got your typical Ned style worm. We're calling little smoky, like little smoky hot dogs. <laughs> that was my name. Um, you get a package of eight for 450. Um, we got your typical five inch stick bait. We're calling that the hot stick. You get a bag of 10 for five bucks. So super affordable, very aggressive there. Heck yeah. Um, and then um, my favorite and the one I had a lot of input on, and there was a video that dropped today, a full walkthrough on Dubro Fishing, uh, both on their Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels. Did a full walkthrough on that, but it's uh, a, sh a shaky head or uh, slash finesse style worm. And uh, we're calling that the shake and bake. And um, I love that worm because... As everybody knows, with those uh, finesse style worms, a lot of them have a coned head and you just have to bite the head off or cut it off to get it to go into your screw lock. So one of the features that I really love about that is it's got a flat head, flat bottom, uh, flat spade tail in the back, and um, just has a ton of action in the water. Go through, watch that. Um, but the shake and bake is definitely my favorite, and it's the one I've fished a lot of. Everybody knows I'm a huge shaky head fisherman. Can I show this yeah. color? Or am I going to get? Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it, it's it's just that laminate with the the silver minnow and the white pearl. Um, but that's the shake and bake right there, and that's that's been my ultimate favorite. Um, and especially in that color, that's a green pumpkin blue flake. So it's a little darker green pumpkin, and. Um, that blue flake, we were, we had a conversation on the way down. I just think it represents bluegill when I see that blue flake and the green pumpkin. Yeah. And I've just been getting smoked on that. I've I've had a lot of people catch their PBs on that this year, taking people out fishing and stuff like that. So, um, so the shake and bake is five bucks for a bag of ten. Um, our drop shot style worm, it's a three and three quarter inch flat worm. We're calling that the donkey drop. Uh, another name I came up with there, but it's a, it's a nice finesse style worm. It's three and three quarter inch again, flat bottom yeah. rounded top. So with that drop shot, it looks like a real, you know, bait fish mimicking type deal. You get a package at eight for five twenty five, And then we got the swim bait, um, which we showed you guys earlier. Randy had a close up on that. Uh, we're calling this the rump shaker. I mean, it, it's funny because you guys went down and fished the pond back behind the the uh, Dubro house last night, and Randy came back and he was like, "Man, I love the action of the way this thing swims," and that was the thing when we put it in the water, the way this ass shakes, you know, uh, I, it only seemed fitting. Rump shaker, right? And we try to be creative with names, you know, because it's like, you know, we were talking about it in the office. I was like. How cool is it when you're on the water and you're like, hey, buddy, you got any more of them rum shakers? You throw me a rum shaker? How about a donkey drop? You got a donkey drop over there? I need a donkey drop. Let me get them little smokies. So uh, the swim bait um, is five fifty dollars for a package of six. Um, these things are super nice. I know a few people have tested them out, and everybody's had great results with these. You could use it on a spinner bait trailer, chatter bait trailer, uh, I mean, just a, a regular swim jig, swim head, you know, things like that. Underspin, I've been using this a lot on an underspin and just smoking, them, smoking them. He's partially so, lying. He doesn't fish anymore. Yeah. He, he works all yeah. the time. Um, and then the last one that we don't have here, just uh, because we only had a limited amount of plastic all to run um, before uh, we got our big shipment, uh, is what we're calling the boulder bouncer. Um, it's a hand dip tube. We'll have that in 14 different colors. So all the colors that you, you know, see here or on the website, 
Those will be available in tubes. Um, because we had a custom blend of Plasticol mixed up, that's on the way. Um, so we're taking pre-orders now. Uh, orders should ship by or before August 15th. I'm hoping before that, but worst case scenario would be August 15th. So a couple weeks out, but um, get in line now because I know last night uh, we already got a few orders when it dropped and I sent out an email blast to our customers. Be sure to sign up for our social media to watch some of those things. We do have some cool other things coming out here at the show that we haven't even touched on yet, like this guy. Um, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, but uh, yeah, super stoked, man. Uh, appreciate you guys being here in the booth. I know you, Randy, Garrett, John Rapp, you guys are going to be pumping out shows all week, man. But uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. No, really cool stuff. Uh, it's really cool to... Like, I don't know, it's kind of like seeing your hard work. Because the paddle and fin shit, you don't really do much with us anymore. I'm oh, kidding. wow. Damn. But, uh, no, the, the baits are cool. The color concepts are very, very cool combinations. Very you. Like, I can, like, <laughs> well, a lot of people and, and will see, like, basic common colors. But it's like knowing how you fish and things. Like, I see a lot of your input. Right. And, and that's the thing, too, man. I try to not think you got to think outside of the box, right? Cause you know what you like to fish and you know how you like to fish and things like that. So that was one of the conceptions. It can't be all about the way I fish because the way I fish ain't the way you fish or he fishes or he fishes. So we try to be well-rounded on these first eight patterns and colors that would fit, you know, the, the, you know, stylings of any fisherman out there, you know? Absolutely. So, um, it's super cool, man. And I'm super stoked to finally be able to like spill the juice on this stuff you know, yesterday, like that was obviously a stressful thing for me. And it was something that I, I wanted to tell a lot of people about, but I kind of had to wait and hold my cards till we released that. But um, we got a lot of cool stuff coming. Um, so stick around here. Go to dubrofishing.com. Um, the track knobs are available now. The baits are available for pre-order. You could see all the colors on there. Um, I got individual shots of each color and each pattern up there on the web. Um, and uh, all our new products are up now, so go check them out. And PNF20? PNF20 is a promo code to save you 20% on any of your stuff. That's a paddle and fin exclusive uh, promo code. So We need a paddle and fin exclusive color. Oh, we can do that. I can absolutely do that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we're I'd... already going to have like 73 other colors by the time this is all said and done. That's yeah. all we did yesterday. We sat at the counter for an hour talking about new bait colors. And I thought uh, Brian, the owner, the Mr. Mr. Dubro over there, I thought he's going to stroke out. Like we just kept just Dubrow. next one, next one, next one. Yeah. But yeah, DubroFishing.com, PNF20. Go check out the knobs, check out the baits. They got line cutters and all sorts of other cool accessories for fishing, rod racks that are really sick. Yeah. We may actually get little footage of that for anybody that didn't know yeah we'll t we'll definitely hit on a uh on the rod racks and we could walk through some of the other products uh here a little bit later but yeah obviously we want to get the new releases out and um uh, but yeah i mean that's the thing right we make so much cool little stuff and gadgets and things like that and uh we're just happy to be here and uh spreading the word about dubra awesome dude all right, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in early this morning live from ICAST 2023 down here in Orlando at the Orange County Convention Center. Uh, be sure to tap the notification button if you're on YouTube because we're going to be on this a lot for the next three days. So you don't want to miss any of this stuff. Um, all of these will be going live on the sites after we're done with them. You're going to be putting them up tonight? Yeah. 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 Awesome. So if you, you missed it, you'll still get it. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. I guess we'll see everybody here shortly. See you, everybody. Awesome.